All right, everybody. Welcome again to another episode of Get Real. Get Real. Hosted by us, BM. Peniel of B2B. Um, Ashley couldn't make it today, but fortunately, we are blessed again by the presence of our very own PH1. Woo! Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Thank you for being here again with us again today. This and is the first time we have hey, a oh, second guest, right? Yes. This is the second time PH1's here, but you weren't here the first time. Oh, yeah. I wasn't here the first time. Yeah. There's but he's the, he's the first person to come on twice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, nice. Yeah, so thank you. Thank yes. you for thank that. You, thank you, thank we you. have a lot to talk about today. All right, all right. Yo, in today's episode, we're talking about resolutions. Ooh. I think it's safe to say that 2020 will go down in history as one of the most challenging years of all time. Life is so different than it was a year ago. And who knows what 2021 will have in store for us. With, with all that's happened <laughs> this past year, how do we plan to approach the new year? Is there even a point to have a resolution anymore? Let's discuss. Okay. But before we do, if there's anything you guys want to hear our take on, interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or leave us a comment when our full episode videos go up a couple days after the audio posting at youtube.com slash dive pods. Subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and on Apple Podcasts. Leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts so more people can join in and know about the fun. Yeah. Five stars only. Five stars only. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, how are you guys bringing in the New Year's? Uh, how do you guys feel about it right now? I feel like… I I'm know. like… I don't even… It doesn't even feel like anything right yeah, now. Yeah, I me. don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'm the opposite. Yeah. Because uh, usually I don't care about you know New Year's or I don't make resolutions. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, really? But because 2020 was such a bad year for true. Every, oh, everyone… Okay, okay. True, true. I'm kind of looking forward to 21. True, okay. true, looking true, forward true. for some change, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got any plans or like hopes for 2021? Maybe I some mean, resolutions? end of this COVID thing. You know, <laughs> yeah. For sure. Right. Yeah. For yeah sure. So we can have like uh, uh, like shows. Yeah. Offline right. shows. Yeah. That yeah, was sure. I feel like the biggest hit for artists in general. So. Yeah. 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 You know? Financially. I think yeah. for like uh, male artists in Korea. I mm. think shows are like the number one way of getting revenue. Right. And then that just disappeared. So how right. about female artists though? I think Is it different? I think isn't it streaming for them? Oh, is, is it, it more streaming oh, for them? Oh, is, is it, it not? Higher? I don't know. It might oh. it might it might be Kongyun for them too. Mm, I don't oh. know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 2021, shoot. If shows can pop Come up back. again, bro, that would be great because That would be amazing. I was watching the news this morning, like I said earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They say uh, in Korea around June. June. They should. They're trying to have the goal is to have the vaccine ready for everyone to take by June. Mm. But yeah. doesn't there need to be a vaccine for it to be ready for everyone to so take? So supposedly there is a vaccine right now. But isn't it only like ninety five percent or something? So it's like only yeah. emergency use, right? right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're giving it to the frontliners, the people who are fighting mm-hmm. Corona right now. So hopefully, um, that's going to be the first test, and we're going to see how that goes. But hopefully, yeah. Let's pray it it works and it's hopefully, it's really hopefully. you know because that would that would make twenty twenty one a really really good year yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well well ho- let's pray to God that works yeah do you guys have any specific New Year's resolutions besides you know if let's let's say COVID let's say resolutions for if COVID doesn't go away and does go away ooh. Two different mentality. So I think it's I think it's pretty obvious if it does go away. A lot of shows, a lot of songs, tours, tours. tours. Yup, yup. Um, Because you guys used to do a lot of tours too. That's what I'm saying, bro. This this year hit us hard, bro. (laughs) (laughs) That was sad. Oh my gosh, hit hard. Yeah, Yeah. Cardo's hit hard, bro. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, we had three tours in line this year. Oh, they got canceled, right? And that was like. On lock, you know, like we, we were just set to do Europe, Brazil, Damn. the U.S. again, Damn. and and who knows, there could have been other like you know other hangzas and other right, right. performances yeah, sure, out of sure. the, out of the country, but you no, know, mm, Corona no, stopped no. all that. Freaking yeah. Corona, so hate hold, that motherfucker. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Corona need to go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, if it does hit, I mean, shoot, I mean, there has to be ways to cope with it. Yeah. Um. I mean, do you have any? For if there's no Rona and then with Rona, if there if if Rona does come, if if it's still a problem, shoot, honestly, I feel like you know I have to more 
start being dependent on the digital world more, mm. even mm, right, more. Right, right, even more, even more. Well, for example, like YouTube or like online shows. Online shows yeah. is a big one. YouTube, I've been thinking about, but it's like. You should get on it. My member does YouTube, and yeah. I see the stress that that's like put on her from doing it. Oh, that's yeah. like another whole job by itself. Oh, yeah, like yeah. that, it that's is. a whole new yeah, world. Yeah. And I was like, before I was like, man, YouTube, I could just do that. I could just you know, film myself for a day, you know, put it to the get, get, have the editor edit it, and boom, that's a video. But does does he or she edit her him or no, herself? No. Oh, she got oh. an editor. She she has an editor. But still. She, under stress? And still on, oh, still okay. under stress. Because she has to go do meetings. Figure out what she's got to do. Oh like content oh, and yeah, everything. Yeah content. Right? One, like, what are yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Okay. So so I was like dang bro. I'm trying to get the know, sponsorships like, too. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. There stuff. you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah yeah yeah. I was like I don't know if I'm, I can handle all that right now. I got to make music. I got to you know do are all you, this. Dude, but if you start making YouTube videos. Yeah. And become a, a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of PPL. Like, yeah. Of, yeah. Like health. Health. Related I was stuff. Thinking yeah, that yeah, too. yeah. Wait. I was thinking that too. Like, Wait, are you gonna check in your email? Huh? Are you gonna check in your email? I'm pretty okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. gotta get on that first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Are you? Do you I have, you're no, probably not. No. On. <laughs> I check every, like once a week, and I'm, it's just like 20 new emails. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these yeah. are saying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, have you ever thought about doing YouTube? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. not like super official, but more like vlog. Vlog, right? Those are yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, true, yeah, yeah, true, yeah. true, true, yeah, yeah. and and those are very, um, those are something that fans really do want to see, like oh, yeah, the yeah. day in the day yeah. life, like it's a little more intimate yeah. too. I feel like if yeah, it's yeah, coming yeah. from their like the artists that they actually like, rather than right. kind of like a behind the scenes like right, right, camera right. team, yeah, right, um, or like a video production team under like the company. Yeah. But at the same time, you kind of don't want to share too much right, of right. your personal life because yeah, 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 then yeah, you yeah. lose entire privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't that's kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. that could take you somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I heard some people that do you. Wait, 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 we're going off topic. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> yeah, YouTube, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I heard some people that do YouTube. They have a like separate studio for YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like they, whenever they want to record, they don't record at home or anything. They yeah, go yeah. to that studio uh, and like they record and everything. So too much of their private life doesn't like. It seems like they're exposing <laughs> a lot, but they're not actually exposing a lot. True. Mm. True. This whole COVID thing got me so jealous of YouTubers. Yeah. Because their views actually oh, yeah. go up. Yeah. Because yeah. that's all people are doing. their income goes higher. That's what all people are doing. Though. People are just on their phones or on their computers at home. Yeah. You know what else went up? Gaming, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Gaming PlayStation. stocks went… Pew. Yo, and PlayStation. Nintendo. PlayStation, yeah. PlayStation and Nintendo did great this year. Yeah, I think yeah. Xbox too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoot. Are you guys Xbox or PlayStation? PS. I'm I'm a, I'm a PS guy, but um I I haven't um been playing too much because I just copped a new computer a couple of months ago. Oh, yeah, so uh, yeah. my computer. Your PC, just, okay, okay. Ah, yeah. Right, right, you? Right, right. How about you? Oh, I grew up with Xbox, mm. okay, but okay. I I kind of I'm thinking about maybe switching to PlayStation just because I want the Spider Man game. Get the five. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you have, have it? it? No, not the PS Five. I have PS Four oh, Spider Man. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Really? really? Oh man, mm. yeah. That's yeah. like the only reason I'm thinking of switching over. Shoot, one of my resolutions is not playing games, bro. Oh, really? <laughs> not playing games not playing in real games? life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you playing games in real life? Yeah. Man. Are are there resolutions that you made in 2019 mm. before this whole Rona? But then oh. just failed miserably. Yeah, hell yeah. I was like, I'm gonna write a song. I'm gonna write one great song a week. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's oh, okay. 56 songs a year, right? Right. I'm like trying to do that now. <laughs> <laughs> like last minute, like crazy. No, but like, more like uh, because you failed because of Rona, because mm. of COVID. Like, it got affected. Yeah, because that you could still go into the studio every day. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't blame Rona for that. <laughs> <laughs> more songs. I, know, yeah. I don't know where my mind was at. Um, I definitely could have been more diligent. Uh, let me think. Um, I mean, it didn't it probably um gym stuff. I mean, there was like now it's okay because you know, in the gym they make you wear the mask, but right, you can right, still right. eat yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they had a little period, like a two-week period where they just shut down everything. Yeah, they had a few two-week periods. Yeah, yeah, where, yeah. Like, so yeah. that was kind of like… Yeah, that was pretty stressful because I'm an eater. I like eating a lot. Ooh, yeah. Mm. So like when I'm not… Eat, when I'm like stressed or like whatever, I kind of take it out on food. Mm. Uh, that's that's one resolution I have in mind right now. I got to stop eating so much. <laughs> 
Shoot, I used to be fat boy when I was no, younger. No, but you work out a lot too. So I do, it, like, I do. Cancels out, right? Um, I eat more than I work out. I need really? to throw in like an extra two hours to match how much I eat. Really? Dang. Like I'm dieting now, okay. so I don't eat too much. But when I'm not dieting and like, you know, I kind of want to meet my people and like have my fun and live like a normal social life. I'll be eating, bro. <laughs> no, but I feel like you don't need to do weights for like two hours. I feel like if you just add like you an hour cardio. of cardio, yeah, it should yeah. be good. Not yeah. even like two hours. So that's what I'm doing yeah. now. But it's like… Yeah. It's like a plateau. Yeah. My body ain't getting no better. It's not going down. But it's just at a plateau. Yeah. For so, for me, I wanted to buy a house. Oh, dang. Um, okay. Like Korea or America. Wherever, wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to save up some money and then buy a house. Cause right. I feel like real estate is… Safe. Where a lot of money is at too. Yeah. But then… Um, yeah. I make no money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shows. 2020 no shows. was a hit. Because I remember like my New Year's resolution and stuff. It was like be more expressive. Like be more like… Really? Yeah. It was like that stuff. I feel like you're one of the most expressive people I know. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I mean like uh, emotion wise. Oh emotion wise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if… Or like… Like… <laughs> like uh, yeah. Not like that. How do you feel like you've been doing with emotionally? Uh, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I show no emotion, no <laughs> man. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Never cry. Yeah. I forgot how to cry. <laughs> no, I think I did. You cried? No, no, I think oh, I forgot, forgot how to, how to cry. cry. Oh man. Um, you gotta watch like those. Pet videos. I mean, I, I, yeah, there was a time I wasn't looking for it, but I, I just like was going through YouTube videos and I found one of you know a yeah. family yeah. sending their dog. Yeah, right, right. And right, I was, right. they were just like, it, like they were watching the dog in this in in the last moments. Last moments. And I was just like, damn. oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> really? No, yeah, yeah bro. Maybe, yeah. maybe. If um, you don't, if you watch that, you don't cry. You're a psychopath, <laughs> bro, for real. No, but you know what? That's what I heard. Like so many people say that about, like, oh, yo, if you watch this movie and you don't cry, you're a psychopath. Yeah. I'm like, all right, and I'm like, I think I'm a psychopath. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if I'm like thankful, like be more expressive than I'm thankful. Yeah. Like uh, stuff like that. But okay, okay. Um, that's a good. Re that's a great resolution to have. Yeah. yeah. But I just feel like I didn't really go out as much in general, so mm. like there was less opportunities to, I guess, kind of express that. Right. Mm. Um, I guess it like kind like Corona kind of affected it, but not mm. really. Mm. Uh, I just wasn't expressive. Mm, okay, yeah. emotional expression. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. I think so. Mm. I think with Rona though. One of my New Year's resolutions is to just uh, be more optimistic and grateful. Mm. Mm. Cause, yeah. You know, like yeah. the entire like 2020, I was like, man, like I just see like money going out of my bank account. And there's like barely any coming in, you know? Yeah, and, yeah. Like, so I was yeah. like, oh man. And like I was like pretty stressed and stuff. But then uh, I was like, I think it was like a few months ago actually. I was like, man, like I gotta be thankful though. Like I got a roof over my head. Like, yeah. I'm mm. eating. Mm. Yeah, that's um, great. You dude. know, like. Yeah. My family's in America, but I got like uh, friends that are like family here. Mm. Yeah. So I was like, all right, like I gotta try to be more optimistic. Boom. Try to be more grateful for what I do have. There you go. Yo, it's my first time meeting you in person, but I, I do watch the videos uh -huh. of Get Real. And every time I, I listen to Peniel, mm -hmm. it's like he's so like optimistic, so positive. The yeah. mentality <laughs> that you have. Is yeah. So crazy. It he yeah. is. You oh, are. Yeah. Thank Which you. is why I was like, I'm not expressive. I was oh wait, you're you're a great expressive man. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> but you know, psychopaths <laughs> <laughs> are sometimes <laughs> the most expressive people. True. That's why I'm <laughs> they can seem they can seem like no, you know, like no, no. Literally, I feel no. like you're scaring him right now. He's like, am I really a psychopath? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Literally, sometimes I'm laying in bed and I'm just like. Am I a psychopath? <laughs> like I seriously think that sometimes I'm like, okay, maybe not psychopath. Am I a sociopath? <laughs> maybe, You're in yo, your maybe. head a lot, huh? Yeah. No, because it's like… Because I don't like… I feel like my emotions don't like fluctuate a lot. Mm. I don't have like a lot of ups or I, a lot of downs. I it's definitely just kinda, see like, that. It's kind of like very like linear. So. Yeah. No, but there are, there are people like that. Yeah. 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 I yeah. hope so. Which is not a bad thing at all. I don't yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. I hope yeah. so. It's good. Because people who fluctuate… I'm the type of guy who fluctuate up and down a lot. Oh, really? People okay. tell me… I, sometimes like… I have my members sometimes tell me like… Dude, are you bipolar? I think you need to check <laughs> for bipolar. I was mm. like… It's that bad? Like what? Oh, dang. Like, really? Yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. Right. 
Unless it's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never seen. I've never seen her down. I've only seen up. Um. So. Even my friends back at home, they tell me like it's pretty like cooked and it's pretty really? it's pretty up there. Like when I'm really? sad, I'll be like like shooting a drama by myself, sad like, <laughs> like drinking by myself. Like, life and sucks then, <laughs> in like a public bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, the you're the best type to like start a YouTube man. It's more entertaining. It's to gonna watch. be yeah. entertaining, yeah. Like, huh? Yeah. Huh. yeah. Maybe I'll add that to my resolution. <laughs> do it, do it, Show do it. Show a side of me yeah. that no one's seen before. Yeah. yeah. No, but what you were saying earlier about being thankful, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I was talking to um, my mom the other day uh-huh. through a cacao talk. Yeah. And then I was, just, we were just talking about how like, you know, everyone's scared right now. Everyone's like, oh, how are we gonna bounce back from from COVID? How are we gonna do this and that? And and you know, me the same. I was thinking like. I got a roof over my head and like, mm-hmm. you know, I get to do what I want. I get to eat what I want. You know, I should be satisfied. And then like… But still, I had a part of me that was like, dang, like, I, you know, I kind of wish I had more. So I texted my mom and she was like, um, we used to live in a city called Hancock Park in LA, right? And um, she went back over there. And in the in the condo area uh-huh. that we used to live in, I had a friend whose mom was friends with my mom too. And she had a store in that area. Uh-huh. And um, just for some reason, my mom, I guess, she wanted to visit that area again. Okay. She said 70% of the stores are all empty right now. Yeah, oh, yeah, damn. And I was like, damn. Yeah. So she was like, hey, like, we're not in a bad situation right now. This isn't bad. This is <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. is, you know, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. when you think about all this stuff that's happening. So, you know, I feel like definitely counting your blessings this mm-hmm. year was one, a little bit easier, and two, Something that helped kept you sane a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. So for all our listeners right now, you know, if you need a little bit of help, counting your blessings and, you know, another way to be positive and happy is definitely finding something to be grateful for. Mm. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah, man. Shoot. Hopefully 2021, we have more things to be grateful for though. Yeah. 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 Shoot. Yeah. 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 And I'm say, sure there will be. Yeah. What's well, like the first… Let's say um, like December 31st. Wait. Hold on. Is December 31st or 30th? 31st. <laughs> March, April. Yeah, 31st. Yeah, 31st. Yeah, December 31st. <laughs> like 11.59 like p.m. Yeah. Rona just like… Pff, it just disappears. Mm. So 2021. January 1st. Uh-huh. What's the first thing you guys want to do? Bump mask off by future. <laughs> <laughs> mask off. <laughs> Um, Future royalty is about to go yeah, off the roof. It's about bro. to go crazy. Um, I can breathe now. <laughs> things, things that we took for granted, for sure. Like for example, mm. uh, like clubbing or a lot of people just packed in a cafe or like a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. conversing. Yeah, yeah. Human interaction. Yeah, like real human yeah, interaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being able to breathe actual air. Yeah, and not your own breath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> mm, carbon dioxide. Yeah. <laughs> and just walking around with the mask off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. true, true, yeah. true. Hey guys, excuse the interruption. This is Ashley again to tell you about our sponsor, BetterHelp, who have been good friends of the podcast and help keep Get Real going. I always love hearing your guys' feedback about the show. Uh, Some of you guys said that you listen to the show to feel less lonely, especially during this time of staying at home, even more during the winter season because it's so cold. I hate going out and I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. BetterHelp is an online counseling platform where you can match and speak with a professional from the comfort of your home all within 24 hours of signing up. BetterHelp is also accessible at an international scale, so feel free to check out if it's available for your country, wherever you may be listening. They have people specializing in many areas from depression to sleep issues to anxiety. I really want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash getreal10. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Get Real 10. So now let's get back to the program.
Oh, all right, guys. So we got a we got some mail from some people having issues right. on Reddit relating to our topic. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can offer any insights. Kind of long, so bear with me. Uh, user oh, live love hoop. Ooh, she might be a hooper. Oh, okay, he or she. Yeah. Um, says my best friend is aimless, lacks ambition, and seems confused in life. Mm-hmm. I've been friends with this girl I met in college for about seven years. We're both in our mid twenties, and a couple of years ago, we moved away from our hometown. I moved to LA and she moved to Denver. We partied a bit in college, but after graduating, I quit partying. Focused on my career and worked really hard to get where I'm at. Now I've got a job I love that pays well. I'm engaged. I'm steadily paying down my debt. Mm. (coughs) Get that money. (laughs) My friend, on the other hand, hasn't changed much. Oh no. Most recently, she texted me saying that she hates her job. She can't stop thinking about quitting and just to travel one day. Mm. Her parents took care of her college tuition so she doesn't have any debt as far as I know. But she barely makes any money and I don't know how she plans to fund her travels. Mm. What she plans to do after that. How she plans to explain the gap in her resume, etc. I've tried to help her by fixing up her resume, helping her search for jobs, acting as a reference job for her job interviews, offering to help her create an action plan with some goals and action steps, etc. But she really hasn't responded to about To my help and suggestions. Part of me thinks the best thing to do is just to let her figure it out on her own without pushing her. And the other part wants me to be brutally honest for a minute and tell her that she needs to stop being so airy-fairy about life and make a plan and go for it. Because you're never going to achieve anything in life if you don't have goals. If she were actually happy doing what she was doing, I'll probably feel fine about leaving her be. But she's expressed to me countless times how unhappy she is, how she's not sure what to do or where to go. And it's making her miserable. Mm. What do you think I should do? I love her and I want to help her. But I don't want to make her feel bad or push her away with tough love. Should I let her be or keep trying? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> She's a good friend. Yeah. 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 yeah this is hard. Really good. This I is mean… Hard. Um, I'm sure all of us have like at least one or two friends around us like this. Right? True. True. Right? Yeah. So or, we're the f- or we are the Or we are that friend. Yeah, we're that <laughs> if, you, friend. if you can't relate, you're yeah. that friend. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. but yeah, um I think from my experience with friends like these, mm. you have to be kind of straight up with them. Mm. Can't beat around the bush. True. Can't try to like, you know, um but yeah, you just gotta be kind of straightforward. And if they take your advice, that's great. But if they mm. don't, it's like I don't think whatever you say is gonna get to them. Like they have to realize for themselves. I agree. But just um, to be the devil's advocate here though. Like for me… I do think that's necessary. Uh-huh, like as uh-huh. a friend… Mm. I am the type to like put it on the table that like… Hey this is my opinion. Mm. If you want to… You know find a… You know better job or whatever. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. some things that you got to do. Right. But it's your choice to… You know take it or not. Yeah yeah yeah. And after that I just take my hands off. Like it's mm-hmm. it's up to the friend. I don't True. push yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And also yeah, okay. at the same time like… I ask myself like who am I to judge… Mm. My friends like pace in life, like what right, am right, I? Right, like, right, you know, right. for sure, and for she, sure. The friend, even though the friend is miserable, like mm. that might be just her way of just figuring life out. Mm. And yes, maybe bro, she's like kind of laid back because maybe her family is a little bit more well off. Well off, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. her parents yeah. paid the, for the. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. feel the pressure that that the other girl, other girl or the guy, main girl, yeah, right, 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 or main guy, other feels. other friend, yeah. What would you yeah. do? I did think about that too as soon as I saw the her parents took care of her college tuition. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So she doesn't have any debt. So I was like, okay, so they're like yeah. at least like middle class, upper middle class. True. If, they got money. Because yeah. if you're like in a real, real pressure where like you're running out of money and your family can't support you, then yeah. you you're bound to like do get so- to work. Yeah. 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 So what would you do then if you put your if, Opinion on the table. And then boom. That's what you got to do with it. But then… They were like… Alright. Thank you for your opinion. But then they came back the next day… With the exact same repertory. Like… Harry. I'm miserable. I need to do this something. What do scenarios. I do? PM scenario. PM <laughs> scenario. What do I do? And then you were like… Hey. I told you. You know. Like I said before. Do this. Do this. Two weeks went by. The 14th day. <laughs> she's there the 14th time. Being like… I don't know what to do. I'm miserable. For what two you, weeks straight what she do said you that? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I would stop hanging out with <laughs> <laughs> um, Best friend going on seven years though. Yeah. Um, I think more than 
an opinion, you got to be more straightforward. Mm. And rather than like, I think you should do this. I think you should kind of change it up and be like, hey, like, I'm just worried for you. Uh -huh. Like, and then I guess talk to them about it. Like, what do you want to do mm. in life? Like, uh, if you hate your job right now, like, what do you want to do? Yeah. And just kind of try to help guide them. Mm. But well, what if the friend's like, I don't know what I want to do. Because there, there, yeah, there, there, there are a lot, a lot of, people. of people like that. Yeah, yeah. Tell them to try out a bunch of shit. Because mm. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. And then I got picked um, yeah. at like an audition. I was like, yeah, okay. Like, I'll try it. And yeah. I ended up uh, love… Like, I ended up loving being up on stage and everything. So, yeah. I think… Tell them to be open-minded. Try this. Try that. Like… Yeah. Um, just do like part-time jobs. Yeah. And kind of figure out what you like. Yeah. And then from there on… Like one step at a time. I don't think we need to pressure them like… You need to find a job that you're going to love right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you know… You need to like plan when you're going to get married. And right. like have kids. Buy a house. Like I don't think yeah. you need to do that. But… Yeah. I mean um, to the writer though… Um, what, I what I do want to say is like… It's so great to see… You trying as a friend. Mm, you're, mm, you're a for very sure, good sure. friend. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, remember it's not your responsibility. Yeah. To, yeah. You know, True. Yeah. Make decisions for your friend's life. It's, True. it's her. Yeah. yeah. It's their life. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. So. You know what I'll do? I'll, I would instill like hustler's mentality into her. Mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can't be doing this. You got to hustle right now. Like mm. what are you doing with your life right now? <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's the thing. If they're like well off… Yeah. You know they're not really going to have that like… Mm. Hustler's mentality true. I feel like. True. 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 If their family's well off… They're just going to be like… Oh, if I don't like this job… You know I'll just go back to my parents. I mean but but there like are that people maybe. that are well off… But oh, still yeah, yeah, hustle. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of times… I've, I've seen people that because they have a lot of financial support from their family… Mm. Yeah. They, they're just like… like yeah. To just take it a easy. little laid back. Yeah, yeah. They like try it on. They're like, and then like they like it, but then like the little bit of like the littlest bit of stress that they get, they're like, oh, I don't want it. And then they yeah, like, put yeah, yeah. Down. That's the thing. And then that's it's the like, thing with that. Yeah. Um. But I mean, I don't know. Everyone, everyone's a little different. So yeah, yeah. Just feel like tell you're, your opinion straight up. Yeah, mm, but. Mm. If it gets to that point where it's just so repetitive, then you really gotta like instill that that mm. shit in her. Like, yo, you've been saying this and doing this for how long now? Like, isn't it time to like, you know, like get moving or something? Like, yeah. if you don't know what you want to do, you gotta try different stuff. You don't, mm. you know, if you still don't know what you want to do, you gotta try different stuff. You gotta find it. There's mm. something out there for everybody. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like if right now, if it seems like they're at the point where she's still like, Oh, I don't know if I need to be brutally honest. Mm. There's going to be a point if she keeps coming to you. Like like I was saying the 14th day. If it's going to be like a, a, a whole year of doing that. You're going <laughs> to… It's going to come out of you. you know what I mean? Also yeah. another tip is… Send your friend the link for this episode of Get Real. Make <laughs> yeah. her listen to it. And Absolutely. feel something. All Absolutely. Right, all right. Mm. Before you that do that… Too. Give us five stars too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And write a very nice review. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> like she's about to know your ID though. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> we put you on blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. All right, so we have a message from user Wandering Wally One. Okay. And Wandering Wally One says, "Never being satisfied with your goals means never being happy." I was in a really bad place eight months ago, but from that endeavor, I turned myself into something better, version 2.0 of myself. Others would say. Okay. Much more driven, fitter, productive, and goal-oriented. But even with all of my accomplishments, I sometimes still feel unhappy. Mm. I end up with this mindset where if I compete… Uh, oh, if I complete a goal, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with myself because instead I am looking at the next goal. For example, if I finally get myself to lift X amount of weight… I'm not happy because I know I have a new goal of lifting X plus 50 more pounds and mm -hmm. I haven't reached that yet. This train of thought is so discouraging. Mm. For the people outside looking at me, they think the changes I've made are great. They think I'm much better than who I was eight months ago. But in my head, yeah, maybe a little better. But in the end, I'm still not happy. Any thoughts or guidance would be much appreciated. 
Thank you for taking the time to read this. Okay. All right, we talk about weights, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you hmm. feel that way? Nah. About weights. I'm. I'm more of um. You feel great when you lift more weights. Get that new, new record of. I kind of rare, huh? Uh, no, this is actually really common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I used to be like this last year. Really? So I, yeah, I used to be like, all right, I got to bench X amount. I got to squat X amount. I got to deadlift X amount. Yada, yada, yada. But it, it came to a point where… So I started working out a little bit differently. I do everything to failure. So if you do… So what uh, that means is like you literally have no strength mm, to do mm. another… You know, another yeah, rep. Uh, another, rep, rep another, yeah. another anything. So that could be f- from… That could range from any weight. You right, could do… Right, right. 20 yeah. kilos, like 40 pounds. If you do it 50 times, yeah. This if you try to hit that, yeah. 60, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna yeah, hit yeah, failure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after I started doing that, the muscle mass I've made after starting to do that is much higher than just mm. trying to hit a certain weight, you know. Right, 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 right. So I mean, for her, I don't know if you're you know, if your specialty or if your profession is powerlifting, because in powerlifting, weight counts, like that counts yeah, as yeah, points. You have to keep yeah, but I mean, if this is something like that's a hobby or or, or you know, just, you're just trying to be more fit or you're trying to look good, I feel like it's 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 almost up. It, you could make it obsolete right now. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter how much you lift if you're trying to look good. But do, uh, what I meant by rare is like, do people actually feel that way to set a set a goal mm. and then when you accomplish it yeah. right after, you're like, oh, I have another goal. Because I just uncop- accomplished this goal. That is rare. Right? That is rare. Because- How can you feel discouraged after hitting but, your uh, goal? I, I feel like with weights though, it's like a little different. Because mm. you know, you can just keep adding more weights. Okay. Mm. So then they know it's like… It's like… Oh, I gotta do 40 by next week. And they like do and they're like… Oh, but like next week, okay, I gotta do 50 now. And then uh, I think it's like a little different. But if mm. it's like… A life but goal I think or she, something. She, but yeah. he, he or she is not just talking about weights though. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, right? yeah. I think so. I think yeah. yeah. yeah she's, it seems to be st- she's talking about life too. Yeah. This is yeah. just an example yeah. I think for one of them. Um, yeah. So that's mm. rare. If it's like something else then… Yeah. Because you're usually pretty happy if you accomplish one of your goals. You got to change your mindset a little bit. Because if you hit a goal that you've been, you know, looking to hit for a, yeah. a while and you finally hit it… Give yourself a pat on the yeah, back. You gotta celebrate a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Or you gotta enjoy. Girl. They're yeah. too like what, what should I say? It's like it's you like too much hustlers yeah, mentality. It's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. mentality on steroids right yeah, now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You gotta take yeah. a rest too. Yeah. 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 Um so I think, yeah, they should be grateful. Mm. <laughs> uh You're you doing know, just, great right now, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. eight months is it seems like a long time, but to reach a certain goal, some people invest years, you know what yeah. I mean? And, and 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 you know, eight months is, is is a great span of time to to be able to, you know, have said I reached my goal. Yeah. But it is good to look at your next goal, but yeah. not to the point where you feel discouraged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. this is and yeah. the thing is that they know they were in a bad place eight months ago. So it's like they know that they got out of that bad yeah. place. Yeah. So they should be, you know, a little more encouraged and Give yourself um, yeah, some credit. credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. yourself some credit. Give yourself yeah. some points. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. But I can… You know what? Now that you mentioned that… I can kind of see… People who've only been on the rise… Mm. Yeah. They're afraid to go down. That's They're right. terrified uh. of, of, of that little like… Uh. You know what I mean? Like with, with anything in life… You're not going to just constantly go right. up. You got to go up, hit yeah. a hit a plateau or or a struggle or an endeavor. You're going to hit a low again and then go up higher and then that's just how life is, you know. Yeah. It has to yeah. be an up and down. Yeah. I think she's he or she is scared of the down part almost. Maybe. Yeah, that I could mean, be a, a reason. Lot, a lot of people are scared yeah. of that down part, but um I think you just got to realize that, you know, it's not always up in yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. There's, Definitely. There's downs too. But I feel like those downs Make you realize how much more greater those ups are. Definitely. So, you know, just… That's life. Well said. That's life. Mm. Don't be too scared of that. Everyone goes through that. Yeah. Mm. Um, but a tip on the weight lo- weight <laughs> lifting part. If you're trying to really uh, get your weight up and um, add some more pounds to your weight… Uh, one suggestion is adding more pounds to yourself. 
Oh, eat, eat more. Yeah, uh, eat more. Yeah, eat and more. Because when I'm 86 kilos, what I could lift in 86 kilos is a huge difference of what I could hit when I'm 80 kilos. You okay. know? Yeah, just yeah, having yeah, mass sure. on yourself, it just whether that be fat or muscle, mm. you're gonna that's you're what, gonna that's what bulking much is, more. Yeah, that's what bulking yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're gonna go into a little bur- bulking stage. Yeah. Yeah, 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 bulk up a bit and then cut if you yeah. want to cut. Yeah. All right, Wandering Wally. I hope that was a little bit of insight that could help you. But give yourself credit one time, all right? All right, all right. Pat yourself on the back. Yes. Mm. Hug yourself. So we're going to move on to the next segment. This is actually a little personal segment for Harry. We got fan questions for PH1. Oh, damn. All right. Nemo Isaac from Rochester, New York asks, Cupid was a really cute and sweet song. And we got to see a softer side to you. Would you ever… Or are you planning to… Write more songs. Write more romantic songs like that. Mm. Or if you have romantic songs in your discography, do you have any you recommend? I'm a newer fan. Oh. um, Yeah, I mean, a lot of my romantic songs are kind of like soft. Not like… It's not like sexual. Hey, girl. Like, <laughs> it's, not like that. it's more like, hey, I'm feeling this kind of way. Like, you know, it's deep. Can I, yeah, can, I, can I get with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal, yeah. Like, just chill. Mm. So Cupid is one good song. I would also recommend… Uh, like me or uh, oh. Nerdy Love, oh. uh, which did great on the charts. But yeah, so I recommend yeah. Nerdy Love because I, I'm a very like a nerdy guy. Or, like, oh really? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, for all, all those nerds out there, <laughs> is, bump it. It's a nerd your, anthem. Is your n- <laughs> the nerd anthem? He said nerd anthem. The nerd, the anthem. nerd anthem. Yeah, yeah. What is your ideal type? Is it someone like you? Have we talked about? We have not talked nah, about this. No, nah. I I don't know. I mean, it's my first time here. I don't with him, have so I don't high standards really, but mm. just somebody that that has a that's goal oriented mm. and somebody mm-hmm. that's independent. Okay. Uh, like uh, wandering Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just somebody that's polite. You know, well mannered. Polite. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And someone that's goal oriented. I mm. think I think that's a big yeah. one though. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times it's just like… Yeah. If they're not doing anything… <clears throat> and they're just kind of like… Like you know… It's like yeah, yeah. slothing around. Yeah. It's not it's not, not a good look. It isn't. Yeah. It's and like yo like… What, what, what do you want to do with life? Yeah. It's like… Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like… I just want to shop. Mm. Yeah. I just want to… I don't want to go on vacation. <laughs> Let's just Netflix tonight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, there, it's true. There's nothing sexier than a girl with goals and a yeah. hustler's mentality yeah. too. Yeah. What, for what for I both do? guys and girls. And girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. What's your ideal type? Me? Um, shoot. I mean… I think I would say the same. Goal orientation is really, really important. Okay. I feel like… Because it's like for me… When I talk to a girl… I like talking about passion and like… What you trying to do in life? You know mm-hmm. like… Yeah, yeah, what you yeah. trying to do? We'll get to the other stuff later. But like… What time are <laughs> okay, you… Okay, okay, okay. Other stuff. Like, oh you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right? You know, it's like, What's up girl? You know what I mean? No but I really like talking about like… What they have in their, their mind. Their vision. What, okay. they, what they're mm. trying to achieve and… And you know… What they want to accomplish in life. Who they're doing it for. Right, right, you know right. what… All of that, all of that. I mean, just like getting deeper into a group, in, into the you know significant other's mind is is, yeah. is very important for yeah. me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. What about, about you? you? I don't have a like ideal type. Mm. Mm. I never. Would yeah. you prefer? Okay. Would you prefer? Okay, girl A. Harry situation. Very okay. <laughs> two girls. I've heard a lot of rumors <laughs> about these. <laughs> There's two girls. Okay. Girl A is more… Um, she's very bright. And she's very expressive. She's mm-hmm. a little bit chatty. But okay. in a good way. Like okay, okay. she keeps you in, in, uh, interested and entertained. Alright. I don't mind that. And she's like very uh, emotional. Girl B is she's more… Kind of like… Just quiet. Mm-hmm. And she, she, doesn't, she doesn't express her emotions that well. Mm-hmm. Huh. But she she's nice to you, obviously. Uh huh. So, which is more more your type? Dang, that's a hard question. Yeah, I really don't mind either of them. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because I'm not that expressive. So then, if like the if um like the girl isn't that expressive, then I understand that. Yeah. You know, I'm just like okay, like I'm not I'm not like that either. So I get where you're coming from. Yeah. 
But then if the girl is like super chatty and stuff, it's like because I'm not expressive, I feel yeah. like it kind of makes up for not. I think that's a better match. My right? true just talkative. Oh, is true, it? True, oh, maybe, true. maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I talk a shit ton. It's just I'm not expressive. We're gonna move on to the next question. Okay. This one's from <laughs> Alana Dum- Dumas. Dumas. From Houston, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> All right, PH1 has released so much content this year, and each project has gotten better. How has your creative process or inspiration changed with everything going on this year? Exp- you know, with with Corona and collapse happening and whatnot. Oh. I think she's more talking about Corona and stuff. Yeah, I mean, me growing as an artist uh, has nothing to do with the COVID thing mm. mm-hmm. because I always try to do better than what I did last time. Right, right, right. Um, but COVID definitely had an effect on my creativity. Like I have a mm. creative hurdle mm. right now. So yeah, writer's like, block kind of. Yeah, no inspiration. Ah, no yeah. source of uh, right, energy. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. so it's it's been tough. Mm. But I'm trying to get over this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Hopefully 2021 you got more bars coming do, in. Do you guys feel the same way though? Because of the Rona. Yeah. Um, did it affect your creativity? Um, I feel like… It did. For sure. Because mm. you know like… I feel like you have to like, kind of like go out. You have to see a lot of things and everything. Yeah, and that yeah. kind of… You know… Builds up your creativity and your imagination and stuff as well. But… Right. Just not being able to go out… Like anywhere. Mm. Um, it did kind of… Yeah. It kind of blocked it. But then at the same time… I watched so many movies… Mm. That I feel like maybe that kind of helped my creativity or movies imagination. Movies are inspiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like… It kind of like… I don't know. It's kind of… Mm. I'm just trying to find like different sources to kind of get that from. Mm. Like, I started watching anime too, and mm. I don't really watch that much anime. But which anime? Um, My Hero Academia. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Was that one on Netflix? Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, is it but, good? But it's in Japanese with Korean subtitles. Oh, okay. on the Korean Netflix. Shoot, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep yeah. up, bro. So I, I'm like, I'm like trying to read the the subtitles. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so just you don't even know how the main character looks I'm like. like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like oh. Look at the words. <laughs> he's been watching. He's <laughs> reading. <man. laughs> so you no, reading like, a book on Netflix? Oh yeah. shoot! For real, it's like that, or I'm like, it's like three or four seasons right now. But I'm technically watching like six or eight seasons. Like I gotta watch every episode like twice. Like, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. but yeah, but I'm just yeah. It definitely mm. cut off like natural like. Creativity, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, w- having just that in mind every day before you leave your house or when you're in the studio, it's just like everything you do is just like, oh, do I got a mask on? Oh, does he got corona? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I just, you know, shit. Yeah. Let me keep my distance. Yeah. Um, for me, I was like that until around three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So what happened three weeks ago? I think I had an experience that kind of… Um, overlap that a little bit because my MacBook broke completely. Oh, so I have no source of making beats or, or recording my own stuff. Oh shoot! So, okay. um, the sh- man it costs a lot. But what <laughs> what's positive that came from that is it kind of gave me initiative to mm. visit other young studios and oh, be like, oh yeah, okay, like okay. yo yo, young, you got a beat for me? Like you know, right, let me, right, let right, me right, you right, know, right, let me right, spit right. on something. Let me let's make a song together. Let's cook up and. I made some pretty decent songs these mm. past three weeks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So just that's vibe. Good, that's good. It made it made me ha- take initiative to like just go out of my way and like look for people at their studios. Right. Right. Conversate with them about life and like what they're going through. I mean, like everyone's in the same situation right now, but you know, within that, you could still find ways to kind of, you know, yeah. escape from that and just find positivity to cook up in that again too. For sure. For sure. But yeah, so I'm kind of grateful my MacBook broke, but man. But at the same time, so sad. No, I'm. It's fixing right now. I just oh, got a okay. call this morning. They were like, "Oh, the main." I got a call last week. They were like, "The main board needs to be fixed." All right. Next day, is the main board there? The main board is here, but the cable needs to be fixed. I was like, oh, man. "All right, what's what was? Are you gonna add something to the cost?" And they were like, "No, we'll just we'll handle the cable. It costs a hundred bucks, but we'll just handle it since it's taking so long." Yeah. I get a call this morning. They were like, "Oh, we got to switch our battery too," and I was like. What? Wait, how long you use your MacBook? Wait, yeah, for? it's like I, a fossil. I like, bought what? it used. Oh, oh okay. you got the refurbished. I got no, no, no. Just oh, on. I just bought a used. 
like uh, from a completely uh, random person. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. It's it's from a site that's like a lot of Mac users right. put oh, up their stuff. So oh, it's okay, pretty okay. legit. But yeah. it's still used. And it, yeah. Yeah, it what, was, what it was year most, is it? 2017. Oh really? So Yo, you gotta you gotta get late. your new one, bro. I think I do. Come on. I do because yeah. 2017. Those man, we're going completely off topic. Yeah. Last thing I'll say about this: 2017 yeah. models was the first model that they made it more compact and harder for you to like switch out stuff. You know? Oh, okay. yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, which is why that's like a I lot of people like are having problems with it. It might be cheaper to just buy a new one at yeah, this man. point. Um, <laughs> They're stacking up all the <laughs> bills on that. Yeah, I gotta. I don't know. I I kind of gotta check what my Next um, royalty paycheck is gonna look mm, like right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Dang. moving on, yeah, yeah sorry, that right was now. yeah. We went completely off topic. Okay, yeah. We're yeah, gonna yeah. read another message. This one is from Melissa Bonilla from Miami, Miami Florida. Uh, Miami. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> right, this is a question from PH One. If there was a point of time slash memory you'd love to relive, what Ooh. would it be? Mm. Oh, this, uh, a lot of thoughts can go through your head with this one. Mm. Uh, this might sound kind of boring but I just want to go back to Long Island where I'm from. Mm. It's, it's my neighborhood. Hometown. So, yeah. And just chill with my friends. You know, church friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. to when you had no worries. No worries. Yeah, no just, stress. Just chill, no do nothing yeah. at the mall. You know, I feel that. I feel around. that. Look at girls. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, no lie. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch movies or you know eat at the the food courts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Good that times. Was, I feel yeah. that. I feel yeah. that. Like, no stress. Yeah, no yeah. stress. The only the stress you had spot. was yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. Mm. The only stress you had was like, will my mom let me sleep over at my friend's house? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Last question from a niece Ford from Fresno, Texas. Are you still walking around with no case on your phone, or did you learn your lesson? Damn. No case. Oh, hey, no and it's a but new what one happened? too. What happened? So this is my first time ever to use a cell phone without a case. Okay. So it's like my way of just like breaking out of my comfort zone. Uh huh. Right? <laughs> or just trying to try new things. He's just flexing. <laughs> He's just flexing. I need more inspiration. Take He's just flexing. <laughs> just risky. That's risky a weird business. way to flex, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> that is me some taking risky a risk. Business. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Do you yeah. drop your phone a lot? Yeah, like after Ooh. I bought it, like 16 hours later, I dropped it. I Dang. Got, I got a dent over here. Already? Some scratches. Oh, like, snap. But y'all know. It's okay. It is what it's, it is. That, it's that vintage aesthetic. Yeah, it's yeah. all good. Yeah. All right, guys. New Year's resolution. Uh, I have a case for my phone and stop dropping it so much. <laughs> did you even yeah, say your resolution? I did. I you think did, I did. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Did I? My resolution is pretty much the same. You know, hopefully do shows. Right, right, um, right, 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 right. Write more music. I got I got a solo album on the way. So mm. um, when when is it dropping? There's it's it's not for sure yet. There's still you know it's still up in the air, but. As far as looking at everything going on in my label right now, okay, okay. when it comes to who's preparing the fastest, right, 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 um, it looks like it's gonna be March. me. All right, so all right. hopefully um, things go according to plan and uh, New Year's resolution. <laughs> Is it with the song that you let me listen to? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, gonna be the title okay, okay. one. We're that's... gonna switch it up a little bit. Oh, and I got right. extra ones. You're gonna like it. Bro. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's show. We talked a lot about resolutions and how 2021. Might look like how we want it to look like and how we would love for 2020 to never come back again. Mm. If you wish to stay updated on this show, IG and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episode on YouTube.com slash Dive Pods. Once again, thank you, PH1, sure. for joining us. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you, everyone, for listening. Subscribe and review this podcast. And we'll see you next episode. Peace. 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 Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Bye!